All right, you guys, welcome back to Potty Strong. My name is Lorene. We're gonna work our glutes and thighs using bands today. We're gonna be on our side or on our back for most of it. Go ahead and grab your lightest band, which is what I'm gonna start with. Place it over the top of the right thigh and lay on your side. So you're gonna lay on your right side, right thigh, right side, and then you're gonna take the bottom of the left arch and place it on the band just like this. <gasps> We're here. Okay, so from here, guys, the further up you bring your knee, the more tension you're gonna have on that band, okay? The bottom knee, I should say. So I'm gonna pull this down. All you're gonna do is you're gonna do a little leg press here. So you're gonna extend that leg back and then forwards. And so the starting point is gonna be in line with my other leg or a little bit above it. The end point is gonna actually be right underneath my hip. So like if I'm standing on this leg, that's what it, where it would be standing, right? Your leg wouldn't be here standing, it'd be right here standing. All right, so let's get started. Uh, leg press. And if you find that the weight's too light after you've done a few, go ahead and grab a heavier one. I'm gonna slowly go in and out. Watch that you're not like wobbling the knee around, that it's not doing a lot of that, which is very common with this. The lighter the band is typically, the harder that is gonna be to control. So a little more stability work. And notice if your bottom leg is coming off the mat as you do this as well, right? So you wanna keep your bottom leg glued down. Again, the further in it is, the, bad, uh, the harder. Now, if you've got a band that's so tight that you can't extend it and that's all you have, go ahead and bring that leg down so that you can actually get a little more uh, range of motion with that top leg. All right, so we're gonna go for about another, see here, 20-ish seconds, roughly, less than that actually, and press, and then we're gonna do some clamshells. So this is not gonna be hard to begin. It's gonna get a little harder here in a bit though. Keep going out, reaching. I can feel my outer hip, my outer thigh. Three, two, now you're gonna hold it hip height. You're gonna do a suspended clamshell. So you're gonna keep the foot exactly where it is. You're gonna open that thigh up and down. You're gonna press it up, squeeze that glute, and then right back down. And you're thinking about visualizing that thigh bone like moving in the hip socket. If you feel anything that's ice picky, I would say do this without a weight, right? Or stretch it out before you do this workout. Once you feel the muscles, right? I want it to feel good, out and in. And you're gonna start to feel your inner thigh here as well, which I know people are like, how did that happen? But if you think about it, your inner thigh is also helping prevent you from going all the way down. It's, believe it or not, helping you actually come back in too. It's resisting as you come back in, okay? So your inner and outer glutes, uh, inner thigh and outer thigh are gonna work and your glutes. Okay, we've got about, we're gonna go a little, a little bit more here. We've got about eight seconds, I think. So just keep pressing up, squeeze that glute. You're gonna start to feel little shakes there. And again, feel free to grab a heavier band, but I don't want this to feel ice picky. Three, two, now keep that knee open. You're gonna press it back, down, in, and around. So I love circles when it comes to this kind of stuff. I absolutely love circles. Um, I, I don't know, I just feel like I get the entire, all the glute muscles when I do this. You know, it feels really nice and very productive. Um, so keep going. We're going to go for a full minute in this direction. Each exercise will be roughly a minute, I would say, on this one. In, out, and around. Again, this is just like a great uh, workout where on those days where your shoulders are burnt out or if you have shoulder problems, you know, you can uh, do a really great glute series without having to hold a weight in your hand, without having to do a, a, a tabletop position or being on your form. So it gets rid of all of that. Gives you a chance to really focus on those glutes. How are you guys feeling? Do you guys feel this? Watch that you're not getting lazy in your circle. Really open up, guys. Press it back. I'm really active when I go back there. Three, two, and now we're gonna reach it back. Woo, I love it. Press it up, watch that bottom leg. Bring it up and around. Notice I'm not going very fast here. I'm going nice and slow. It's about strength training, building that glute muscle up and around and really paying attention to what's going on in my body, which is really hard to do when you're talking and doing the exercise at the same time. Keep going. So it's super rainy here today. Um, and it's a great day to do videos, right? It's a great day to do videos, but it's also hard to get motivated when it's like so cozy, right? But then all of a sudden I was like, you know what? I was like, I'll, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna get going. And once I get going, I'm gonna be glad I'm doing it. And it's gonna feel good as I'm doing it. And just kind of motivating myself to do it. It would have been super easy to just have, you know, watch some TV and snuggled up, but I'm gonna feel so much better after this. So I'm glad I'm doing it. Keep going. Probably hit up Costco a little bit later tonight. I like to go before they close because I'm quick and there's nobody there. Three, <laughs> two. Now you're gonna go into a little internal rotation, okay? You can bring that knee up higher if you want to or lower. 
you're just gonna tap and lift, right? You're gonna tap, and this is where you're really gonna feel that outer uh, corner of your butt, which is a really hard to get area, good. All the time I have people saying, how do I get like, it's kind of funny, how do I get that one part of my butt? Um, I mean, you could, I know people say you can't do isolated movements, you, you can do targeted movements, um, but I, I, I prefer if people just, you know, wanna work on their whole body versus just one body part. So, you know, hopefully you guys aren't just doing butt videos, you're doing the arms, you're doing everything else. But this workout's gonna get all of your glute here, the entire booty, thigh, you can feel there's thigh work in here, squeeze it up and down, keep the core in tight, good. And you can't complain too much because you're laying down and working out. Keep going, really press, squeeze that tush. Now we're gonna go into a little hold, three, two, now up and hold, okay? You're gonna wanna quit here. Everybody wants to quit here. You're gonna really focus on keeping that lifted. If your leg starts to creep down, keep lifting it up even higher, okay? Abs are tight, you're not extending your back here. We're gonna keep holding here. We have another 15 seconds, and we're, then we're gonna pulse her for about 15, okay? So keep holding, keep squeezing up higher, up higher. You'll notice you can get a little higher if you really just keep focused, pull the core in, three, two, and then you're gonna do little pulses. Up, squeeze, up, squeeze. Now on this one, if you wanna pick it up a little, go for it. There's almost like a little extension of the knee as you go up. It's almost like kicking out. You can see my foot's moving out. Keep going, keep pressing. Now we've got this really awesome little set after this. You guys feel that thigh burning, it feels so good. You're gonna lay on your back. We're gonna do some a little bit of core, but it's um, glute work while we're laying on our back. Keep going, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Release that. Okay, lay on your back. So this is like a love-hate exercise. I don't know what it is, but this exercise, it, it can be kind of hard to find for some people. You're gonna start with the band over both arches of the feet. Legs are gonna go up to the ceiling. I have found grabbing the back of my thighs, lifting up is a better way to get into this. Because you can get up high and you can get your kind of foundation going here versus like struggling and trying to get up. This is really for your outer thighs here. You're gonna extend the legs out hold, hands behind the head, okay? Stay right here. Okay, I want you to have straight legs here. I don't want bent. So if that means that you're tight, let the legs go a little lower or hold on to your legs and let the legs go lower, okay? I really want you to work on that full knee extension, okay? You're gonna press out, 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 out. If this is so impossible because you're so tight, you can bend the knees a little bit, but I do wanna emphasize the reach, I'm reaching through my heels, press, 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 a little bit of internal rotation. So my toes guys are like kind of pointed inwards a little bit here, keep going. Oh my gosh, I taught so much this week that like now when I'm doing the video, it's like I, I don't know, it's like I can't even comprehend. I mean, I know, I know what I'm saying, but it's like I can almost hear myself talking. It's so weird. Keep going out. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that. Keep going out, out. You got 15 seconds. Press, press, press. Chest is up. This is gonna be inner and outer thighs. You guys feel those inner thighs working too? This is why I want you on a light band, you guys. I don't want you on a heavy. We're gonna go a little longer here. I said 15, but we're gonna go longer. Keep going. Press, press, press. Feel those outer glutes. Four, three, two. Now stay wide. Bend your knees. Keep that tension on the band. You're gonna open the legs out. Press away bring the legs back in like you're pushing something heavy away, with, heavy away with your legs. If this bothers your low back, you guys, you could set your head down, hands underneath the tailbone and just shoot them up a little bit higher like this, okay? This is an option. Whatever option that you take, I want you to keep focused, staying tight with those legs. If you really keep the band open the whole time, you should feel the whole leg working, you guys. Your outer thigh, the VMO, everything is working. It's so great, keep going in and at this point what i start to feel the most which is why i love this exercise so much is the vmo which is a super ignored muscle it's super important for good knee stability so really see if you can find that right start to focus on that keeping those legs wide following my cues every time you do this workout try to see if you can get more of that it's a really great way to get that muscle because you're working it pressing away lengthening all the way so it really does work and then using it to come back in Good, keep going, woo! Five seconds here, four, three, two. Now take this band off and grab something a little heavier. I'm gonna grab, I wonder if I can do this one. It's a, it's a, what is this? Oh, extra heavy. I don't believe that it's extra heavy because 
I put it on the um, arch of the left foot and thigh of the right foot. So it's just like what we did before. Let's see if this will work. Both feet are on the ground, okay? Now this might slide because it is so heavy. Let's just see how this works. I don't buy that it's the extra heavy because every set of bands is different, right? So it says extra heavy, but there could be another set of bands that the medium's the same weight. So there's no standard. Just pick something that works well for your body, pressing up and down. So we're gonna go into a little bit of glute bridge series here. Okay, you could feel because the band is on the, I'm gonna separate my feet a little bit. Because the band is like kind of cross diagonal, you can feel the outer glute of that opposite leg really engage, right? Keep going down, pressing up. Now, lift the toes, press through the heels and see if you can hang on to that band. For some people, this might bother your calf a little bit and your hamstrings, you know, like it might start to kind of cramp. If that's you, just let it relax down, okay? Pressing up and down. Now, if you want to, and if you're like, oh, I don't really feel this in my glutes that much, feel free, I'll just show you real quick. We still got a little bit longer to go here. Feel free to put it on a little bit higher or lower on that foot and see if that helps change where you feel it, okay? I'm gonna feel the back of my knees working. I'm gonna feel my glutes working. Keep going up, squeeze, and down. Up, squeeze, and down. Keep going. Both hips are working, both glutes are working. Some people tell me that they feel the uh, opposite leg working more. Three, two, now hold. Now I'm gonna walk my feet a little closer together. I should not have picked such a heavy band, but oh well. You're gonna just barely lift the other leg off the ground. That's gonna turn on that left glute. You're gonna go down, tap the floor, come halfway up. Down, tap the floor, halfway up, okay? So we're just doing a small range of motion. Keep going. Good, down and up. Press, good, and press. Good, and press. That leg is gonna burn out, you guys. Keep going. Up, squeeze. Up, squeeze. Keep going, guys. We're almost there. We're actually gonna switch legs right after this. Keep going. Squeeze. Try to get a little higher if you can now. We're not gonna go all the way up because the band is gonna be heavier. If you pick a light enough band, you can go for it. But the other thing is when you go really high, the band will slip down. So that's why I keep it low. Keep going up. Now hold and little press, press, press. Press, keep pressing up. Yes, nice job guys. Eight, seven, butts on fire. Six, five, four, three, two, and release. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a burner. Oh my, it hurts just to straighten it out. <laughs> there we go. All right, so now we're gonna switch sides. Arch of the right foot, thigh of the left leg, okay? I'm gonna start off with that nice full range glute bridge here, right? So down and up. Shoulders are relaxed. Ooh, a little wobbly on this leg. Fresh leg. Good, go up and down. Moving through, pressing up. I'm wobbling a little bit, try not to wobble. Again, you have the option to put the heels uh, down, toes up. If you feel like that's getting your glutes warm, go for that. Play with your options over time though, okay? I'm gonna keep mine down. Good, and I'm starting to, I'm gonna start to focus on me not wobbling. So I am wobbling a little bit and I can feel that. I'm gonna go a little slower on the way up, working on that stability. That's what's hard about this exercise is not allowing that band, because that tension side to side changes every like centimeter that you're going up. So your body is coordinating with itself to figure out, okay, how do I, what do I need to kick in to keep it into a nice long line? Keep going up and down just like that and pressing up again. Keep going, squeeze your tush and lower it down. You guys are doing great. Hi, buddy. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh my God. Up and down. Three. Good. Keep going. Three. Boy, buddy. Your belly hot. You got a little itch. He's got a little itch. Okay. Hold it up. Take that left leg tabletop. Go down. Come halfway up, right? Go down. Come halfway up. What, sweetheart? You trying to tell me something? Can you wait a little bit? We'll go out in a second, I promise. <laughs> up and down, good. Or he just wants to be part of the video. Good, press, find that right glute, guys. Squeeze through that cheek. I'm really feeling this now. We're gonna lay on our side in one second. I think Rocky wants to lay on, the, on my side. <laughs> what? I can't do this. <laughs> All right, yeah, five seconds, four, three, two, hold. Now little pulses up and down. Rocky, you gotta move. Little pulses up and down. <laughs> Just keep pressing, guys. My butt's burning, even though you can't see it. I promise it is burning. Keep going. 
Got about 15 seconds here pulsing, and then you're gonna lay down. I'm sorry, you're gonna lay on your back after this. We're gonna go back, reverse everything to your froggies. Keep going. Press, press, press. Up, five, four, three, two, and then release. Awesome job. All right, I'm gonna try to go with my heavy this time. Not heavy, heavy, but maybe something a little heavier than last time, at least for the froggies. Okay, go ahead and switch your bands, guys. Hands behind the head, legs wide, and you're gonna press the legs out. And in, so just working on our froggies again. Out, reach, keep those legs nice and strong. Pull the band back in and press out. Well, hi. <laughs> press it out and in. I know he wants something. Buddy, give me a second, I'm almost done. I'm almost done, Boo Boo. Did your belly crawl, what's going on? <laughs> in and press guys keep going in and press you're almost there i'm gonna reach my hands forwards and keep going so you're getting a little bit of core work but i feel mostly my thighs and my legs right keeping that band wide <laughs> keep going you got 15 seconds bring those outer thigh presses coming up we're almost there keep going <laughs> you've never done this before three two now legs up to the ceiling Press it open, 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 open. I'm still working, guys, I promise, even though the dog's in the way. Rocky, move out of the way. Come on, move. <laughs> Keep going out, 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 out. You're fine. <laughs> oh out, out, toes in, heels out. Keep pressing, press, 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 press. He is so cute. Out. I love, I love having pets, man. I gotta get a second one. Keep going, so then there'll really be a lot of dogs in the video. Keep going. Out, out. Woo! Feel this, guys. Booty is burning. Oh my gosh, you can also grab and open your legs like you just saw me try to do. Keep going. Press, 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 press. It's a nice, slow build. God, I love this stuff. Keep pressing, guys. It's, it's burning like crazy. I'm there with you. You've got about five seconds. Press, press. Laying on your left side in four, three, two, woo, and rest. All right, guys, I'm gonna go back to my original band, even though I kind of kind of like that band, but I'll, I'll switch, I'll switch just to be even. Um, <laughs> all right, place that band back on the arch now. You're gonna go into the left thigh, right arch, okay? We're gonna go right into the uh, scork screw, scork screw, the cork screw, hold, laying on your side, okay? So you got that angle. Oops. Got that little angle up, and you're gonna start with that hold, okay? Start the hold, pulse, and then full range, all right? So we're going backwards on everything here. Keep going, just hold it. Got about 22, 21 seconds to hold, and then we're gonna do those little pulses, all right? You can feel your glutes burning. Keep holding. We're gonna do this. We only have three more exercises, you guys, after this, so hang in there. I know it's burning. This is one of those things that you're gonna feel like, uh, you're gonna feel things, you know what I mean? You're gonna notice things over the next couple of weeks. Oopsies, too, uh, too long of time. Oopsies, three, two. All right, little pulses. I think I went over a little bit, sorry. Press, press, press. Almost like a little kick out, press. You're gonna feel everything working. You might even feel some calf. You might feel some backs of your thighs and backs of your knees working. This really gets all these little muscles you guys are never used to working. The things that you need to be able to stabilize your body, right? Especially when it's a lightweight, you really feel that. And this sequence really gets it that way. Hi, bud. Hey, sweet pea, I love you. Three, two, now full range. You're gonna go down and, and up. And down and up, hey buddy. And down and up. I'm gonna move my leg up a little higher. And down and up. Good, keep going guys, keep going. Work your outer glute and outer hip here. Keep pressing, reaching, bringing it back in. Pressing, reaching. Bringing it back and he just grabbed his little toy off the ladder barrel. Keep going, guys. Ooh, I love this so much. It's so great. You got 30 seconds left here. Oh, you want to play? No, it's my toy. Keep going, guys. 21 seconds. Press and press. Here, I'll throw it over there for you. Press. 15 seconds. Good. And press. You're going to do the circles coming up, guys. Take your time. You can always remove the band if this is too much. Rocky, you've got to move buddy. Four, three, two, 
and little circles. I know why he's doing this. It's because it's that Rocky move, move. It's because it's bad weather. And Rocky kind of gets out of the way. <laughs> it's bad weather and he's just having like cabin fever. Are you having cabin fever, buddy? Huh? Give me a few minutes. I'll go throw the ball for you in a second, okay? Keep going. Keep going, guys. You got 40-ish seconds. This direction, we're gonna reverse. I know, sweetheart. We'll reverse directions in a second. This is burning, guys. I almost wanna take the band off. So good, though. Keep going. Keep pressing up and around, guys. You can always take the band off. Keep going, 20 seconds. We're gonna reverse. And then we have those suspended clamshells, okay? Keep going. They're the best, I love them. You, if you're one of those people that doesn't understand dogs, um, give yourself a chance to 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 find out why to, to to be that person that is because it's so sweet, you know. Or cats, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just it's so cute. Three, two, now reverse. I know sometimes people get scared because they've been chased by them when they were younger, so they have a hard time. Because I've known people, but then once once you get used to it, you just you start to like. You just, it's just so fun. I don't know. It's fun. It's hard to explain. Up, out, and around. Good. Keep going. Up, out, and around. Good. We've got these clamshells coming up. These suspended clamshells coming up. Hi, hey, boy. Almost there, guys. I don't know if the camera shows him fully, but he's really cute right now. Well, kind of. <laughs> he's looking at himself. All right. Keep going. <laughs> 15 seconds. Good. 12 seconds, you guys are doing great here. You guys feel that glute, right? I'm gonna bring my knee, bottom knee up a little higher. Good, you've got five, four, three, two, and hold, and suspended clamshell, guys. Press open, and open, and open. You guys are doing awesome, we're almost there. We've got less than two minutes left of the workout, okay? We got this, we got our leg press, and then we're done, that's it. And your whole leg and thigh and glute, you got this good strength. It's almost like PT, but like as a workout. 40 seconds here. Rocky, you're such a good boy. Keep going. About 35 seconds, press. Leg presses are coming. Less than a minute and a half left of the workout, guys. Keep going. Woo, it's good. Keep pressing up, suspended. So your foot staying in the same spot the whole time, you guys. You're just opening that knee up like you're pushing something heavy open. You'll feel your inner and outer thigh working here. Keep going, press open and close. And open and close, Rocky, you hold on, we're almost done. Open and close, go. Good, five, four, three, two. Now hold, you're gonna do that leg press. Press it away, stretch that leg leg is fully extended and then bring it back in so as it goes out it goes right under my hip like i'm standing on it hip extension and then bringing it back in press it back reach guys and then slowly bringing it back in press it back reach guys and then slowly bringing it back in so as it goes out it goes right under my hip like i'm standing on it hip extension and then bringing it back in Rocky, you gotta move, buddy. Sorry for the butt shot, you guys. Good, and bring it back in. Good, and reach in. <laughs> Press it out. <laughs> when he was a puppy, he was so cute. Oh my gosh. Like if I ever got on my equipment, he would like jump on the equipment with me. I think he actually won something at this point. I'm almost done, sweetheart. You're such a good boy. Is, you have to go out? Is that what it is? You just went out. We just went out. I know, we just went out. We're almost done. Keep going, press away. <laughs> 10 more seconds, you guys, come on. Reach it in, pull it in slow, press it back. Almost there, five, four, three, two, woo! And then release, nice job, you guys. All right, take the band off. Whoopsies, we'll do a quick little stretch here. I'm gonna have you guys just do like a little twisted Seated, twisted, I forgot what this is called. Twisted, I don't even know. Okay, you're gonna sit, bring your left leg over, right elbow goes onto your left thigh, sit up tall, bring the base, uh, the left hand close to the base of your tailbone, lengthen up and twist. Take a nice little stretch here. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe, share. Make sure you turn on your notifications, you guys. That's how you'll know I have new videos. I'm trying super hard to do a video a week. 
Trying to get back in my rhythm. Ooh, stretch it out and then switching sides. Bring that other leg over. Bring the left elbow onto your right thigh. Base the right hand close to your hip. Open up the chest. Hold there. But anyways, guys, awesome job.